Washington, D.C.'s Metropolitan Transportation Authority Board voted to increase fares for the first time in five years. The changes go into effect July 1st and include a new system-wide program cutting fares in half for low-income riders. The fare increase proposal would be about 5% higher for an average ride and will be part of the agency's $2.3 billion budget for the 2024 fiscal year. The proposal moves to standardize the base cost of trips by removing the $0.25 cents added to the $2 base fares during rush hours. However, this means long-distance riders would face the brunt of higher fees. Members representing Virginia and Maryland have expressed concerns for their riders who commute to and from the city. The funds would be allocated to pay for an increase in train frequencies, which have been stalled as a result of the pandemic and failed inspections of new cars. D.C. Mayor Merrill Bowser has also requested the Biden administration bring back employees to the office to bring more ridership on the metro. Dating back to October 2021, 7,000 series metro train cars have been pulled and reinstated a handful of times due to an issue with the size of the wheels, which WMATA knew about since 2017. However, none of the trains were pulled offline until a series of failures occurred on October 2021. Metro has said it allocated $55 million to repress all 5,984 wheels on its 7,000 series trains over three years. The new budget delivers more service to the green, yellow, and orange lines, which return to full service on May 7th.